Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the fastest way to deploy a fast API application. The whole process is completely for free and gives you an HTTPS URL. If you're interested in fast API in general, I've also published a crash course on this topic on YouTube. First, you need an account on data.space and there you click on sign up and pick a username, your email address and a password. And very important, click here on enable developer mode. After signing up, you have to sign in with the email address and password. Then you click on sign in. After signing in, you will see this area here and this is the place where you can manage your applications. After creating our DataSpace account, we have to install the DataSpace CLI. We can install it on Windows with the PowerShell with this command and on Linux and Mac with this command. So you just press enter and then you install the CLI on your computer. After installing it, we run space minus minus help to see all the available commands here. And as you can see, we can log in, we can push our projects, we can create a new project and so on and so on. So this is the CLI we will use to manage our project. And the first thing what we're gonna do is running space login. And then we have to enter an access token and we get the access token here on our UI. Just click here, then go to settings and then on generate token. And then you can just copy the token and just copy paste it inside the terminal. And we can see we are logged in successfully. Before we create a new space project, I will just walk you through the code here. As you can see, this is a very simple fast API application with uh, some to-do endpoints where you can make a post request, get request and put and delete. So this is a simple CRUD application. And we also have a requirements.dxt. This is very important to make a space know what requirements we have to install on the server. So these are the two files we need. And now we can run space new. And we can just select the project name here. I will call it fast API one, two, three, four, and then press yes. And after that, we will see a new file dot git ignore a dot space folder, which we don't have to open this. This just includes some meta text we don't have to know about. The space file here contains some information about our project. For example, the source, which is our current directory, the name of our deployment, and also the engine. We, as you can see, we use Python 3.9 here. But this is not enough to make it work. We also have to include our entry point. And to run a fast API application, you normally run UVacorn as web server. And here we just run UVacorn and then app. This is the name of the file, app.py, and then the app object here, which is referenced uh, with the second app here. So we run uicon app and dot dot app. And this is the entry point we define here. Okay, so now we have a working solution, but this is not a public endpoint, it will just be a private endpoint. To make it a public endpoint, we have to add public routes here. And here we can define which routes we want to make public. This is a list and we just have to use a little space here and then write, for example, a slash. And then if you want to make all routes public, we can just add a wildcard here. And then all of our routes in the API will be public. After doing this, we can just run space push. And now our app gets deployed with this space file and also the app.py and the requirements.txt will be installed on the server. Okay, as we can see, everything works as expected. We can just copy this URL now and update here the code and go to slash docs to see our application. Everything runs as expected. Okay, that's it. The app works and we've got an HTTPS endpoint. That was quite easy, wasn't it? If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumb up. Thank you very much. Bye bye.